This is DIY Mushroom Tech with Chapter 3.3.3. Now we will build a humidifier. Since this project is multilayered, I decided to take an unusual approach. I produced this video in a way that it can also be used as a printout. That means you can use it offline or even use just print some single pages of it. All the design that are shown can also be downloaded. Hey. My name is Daniel, I am from Germany, and I will be your host. Let's build a redundant humidifier system. We will start with the specifications, after that we will look into the details of the installation, watch a short movie and finish with the bill of needed materials. Before we start, I did put a lot of work into this lecture series. I hope you enjoy it. Maybe you want to consider to buy me a coffee? There is a serious reason why I ask. In life there is balance everywhere. Summer and winter, day and night, hot and cold, and so on. It's obviously natural, that taking and giving is also a polarity that needs to be in balance. Only when there is balance can we, as humans, achieve harmony and genuine happiness. That means, if you take something for example from the internet, you should also give something back. Please check for yourself if your life is in balance. If you want, you can support me with a donation. That would be great. You could also support any other good project. Send someone a smile, leave somewhere a nice comment, or just be joyous and spread some love. Let us start with the specifications. What does a humidifier need to do for us? At first, we want to have at least two units. This was the system is failure proof. We also want it to be connected with USB and 5 volts. The ultrasonic modules mainly come with 5 volts. With the USB connection it can be easily unplugged. This is necessary for cleaning. We also want to have an adapter plate. That way we can use any tank of our choosing and just change the adapter plate as needed. The whole tank must be covered otherwise spores will too easy get into the water and you would have to clean your tank much more often. I would also advise taking a transparent tank. This are the specifications that guided me during the design process. After using this system now for a longer time, I never had any downtime or problems to reach the target humidity value. One could also easily use more than two active humidifier if one wanted to use them in a bigger tent. Let's have a look at the installation of the humidifier. First of all, you need to print the parts. If you do not have a printer, just ask someone who has. Here you see my Ender 5 with direct extrusion and BL touch. One important advice. A 3D printer generally is not good in printing precise round shapes. A designed 08mm may result in printed 07,8mm. Shafts and bore diameter also behave differently. Know your equipment. To be able to use the nut, you have to increase the scaling for X and Y. For me, the factor 1.025 did work great. Here you see a cross section of the model picture is only for your entertainment. Buy a cheap 5 volt sonic disc set. Install the sonic disc. Install the cover. Use self tapping. M3 screws. Normal wood screws. Now you must solder. Otherwise, the humidifier will only start after you push the start button. Our control system needs to start the humidifier. Bridge the button. Control turns power on slash off. This is the simplest soldering application I can imagine. Can be performed by anyone. Auto stop after 4 hours stays intact. If you run out of water, system will shut down. Install the board. Use two screws. Place the cover over the board. This protects it against water droppings. Get your cotton sponge stick. Put it into water, to have it completely wet. Turn on the power with a 5V portable slash handy charging device. Slowly install the cotton stick. Turn the thread twist by twist. 
at a certain point, you will have maximum missed output. If you over twist, apply too much pressure, the sonic disc cannot work properly. Then you have to loosen up again. The cotton stick should barely touch slash touch without pressure the sonic disc. Mount your build on your adapter plate. This base plate has to be designed according on the water tank you want to use. You can use any tank, just customize your adapter accordingly. I use this fridge organizer. It gives me a high volume with 3,11 liter. Transparent, so water level is really easy to check. Here are the dimensions. Fits good. Cotton sponge nearly touches the ground. If it does not, then you do not use the capacity of the tank. Here is a picture from my slicer. I use regular white PLA. You need to completely cover your tank. Otherwise, you will get spores into your water, and you have to change and clean it much more often. I use two humidifier together. Redundant system. If one fails or goes slow due to calcification the other one will compensate. You could also use many more of these humidifiers. That might be interesting if you want to use a bigger tent. Now I will show you in a video important details of the humidifier system. First application. Second assembly details. Third decalcification.
In this video I will show you how to perform the cloning. Always spray your hands. Work as sterile as possible. There are other builds for the still air chamber. Mine works great. No need to complexify the process. Here you see a picture of a new sonic disc and one with a little calcification. This is a picture I took with my microscope. This is a picture of some serious calcification. One can still see the grid. This sonic does not produce much mist. Anymore. Always use filtered water. The regular maintenance work is shown in the video. This is how a sonic does look like. It just vibrates very fast. Water comes through these little holes. Here you have close up picture. I did not yet take the time to measure the size of these holes. Let us finish with the bill of materials. You do not need much. Mainly the humidifier kits and the printed parts. There are several kits you can buy. They are all the same. Dirt cheap. I had never one broken down. They work great. Regular decalcification is of course required. You can rebuy the cotton sponges. If yours get too old. You can also buy just single sonic discs. I did yet not need to do so. This I bought at a local El Etica store. 3. 1 liters are great. Transparent is also very convenient. You always see how high the water level is. That was my humidifier. Hope you like it. Which kind of humidifier do you use? Please let us know, if you have good solutions. Help your fellow man. In the next lecture we will investigate the illumination system. IO will use LED stripes or LED bars. Always 12 volts. Thank you, for spending your time with me. I hope you enjoyed it, and even learned something. I am looking forward to see you soon again. Bispald.